Hi friends, welcome to Social Studies Today. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about President's Day. We were not in school Monday because we were celebrating President's Day. President's Day is a United States of America holiday where people can take off work, where schools are closed, because it's a time to reflect and honor our U.S. presidents. It also is George Washington's birthday, and we're going to learn about him. He was the very first president of the United States of America. So in 1885, that was a long time ago, President's Day was started to honor George Washington's birthday, and it's something that is still celebrated today. A president is the leader of our country, okay? I am a teacher, so I am the leader of my classroom. Mr. Yost is the principal. He is the leader of our school. In Tucson, we have a mayor, and the mayor is the leader of the town. In the state of Arizona, we have a governor. The governor is the leader of the state, but the president leads the whole United States of America, okay? He has a big job. He has to lead us. He represents us. He gets to sign laws. Laws are like rules, okay? Things that we can and can't do. He has to work with leaders from all over the world. He also leads the United States military or the soldiers, okay? He's in charge of them. He has a lot of jobs and we're gonna learn about that. I have a little video I wanna share you. And then we're gonna talk some more about two presidents that are really amazing and who I really think were great leaders. All right, so hopefully my screen is shared and you can see my video. So you want to be president because did you know when you grow up, maybe you could become the next president of the United States. Do you dream of becoming the president of the United States one day? The job comes with some pretty sweet perks. For starters, you'd be making $400,000 a year. And you'd also have your own jumbo jet, Air Force One, and even your own theme song, Hail to the Chief. You'd get to move to the most famous address in America, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., the White House. You'd have your own bowling alley, movie theater, and pool. Sounds like a pretty cool gig, right? Well, it's also one of the toughest jobs in the world. It comes with some pretty big responsibilities. As president, you would lead one of the three parts of the U.S. government, the executive branch. That's the branch that carries out and enforces the nation's laws. You'd also get to decide which proposals actually become laws. You'd have a vice president and choose a group of advisors called a cabinet to help you out. You'd also be the commander in chief of the whole U.S. military. And as head of foreign policy, you decide how the U.S. will work with other countries. So you'd meet with world leaders, help countries in need, and sign agreements with other nations. Those are just a few of the president's jobs. What do you think? Still up for the task? Well, not just anyone can be president. The U.S. Constitution lists three requirements. The president must be a natural-born U.S. citizen, meaning you were born on American soil, or at least one parent is a U.S. citizen, have been a U.S. resident for at least 14 years, and be at least 35 years old. Sorry kids, looks like we'll have to wait just a little while longer. Aww. But no worries, we have plenty of time to prepare to be president. All right, so let me go ahead and share a different video with you before we talk about my three favorite presidents. We have a story that we can read about some of the presidents of the United States. And I'm gonna move this up top so we can see the words. This little president, a presidential primer. Written by Joan Holub and Daniel Rude. Leading our country, helping you and me, 
keeping all 50 states safe, happy, and free. Little presidents have a great big job. This little president flew flags red, white, and blue. He was our first leader when this nation was new. George Washington was the first president of the United States of America. This little president led with wisdom and care. When the White House was built, he was the first to live there. John Adams was also the first vice president. This little president was super duper smart. He liked buildings, inventions, books, fossils, and art. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. This little president was honest as can be. He kept our states united and set people free. Abraham Lincoln was the tallest president and the first one to wear a beard. This little president could really horseback ride. He was a brave general with patriotic pride. Ulysses S. Grant made Christmas a federal holiday. This little president was a cowboy ranch hand. He made national parks and preserved forest land. Theodore Roosevelt inspired a candy store owner to sell toy bears called Teddy's Bears. This little president told people not to fear. He gave jobs to Americans, which made them all cheer. Franklin D. Roosevelt was the first president in a wheelchair. This little president had heart, style, and grace. He sent our first astronaut into outer space. John F. Kennedy was the youngest president ever elected. This little president was once a movie star. He brought the world together, both near and far. Ronald Reagan was the oldest president ever elected. This little president is a family man. When others say we can't, he declares, yes, we can. Barack Obama is the first African-American president of the United States of America. Anything can happen in the USA. Hey, maybe you'll be president someday. All right, friends. So we're going to talk about three of my favorite presidents, mostly two of them, but three of them in the video, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and Barack Obama. And each of these presidents has something really special about them. Barack Obama was president before Donald Trump. We are now with President Joe Biden. So we have Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Barack Obama. So he was three presidents ago, but he was the first African-American president in the United States of America. And I don't know about you, but I think that is pretty special, especially considering that we are celebrating Black History Month. So I wanna make sure that while we're learning about presidents, we take time out to learn about Barack Obama as well. He did some really great things for our country and he really was a great family man and he still is, he's still alive today. So on the website, there's some books that you can read about him. And if you wanna research on your own, there's a lot we can learn about Barack Obama, the first African-American president of the United States. So let's go back a long time ago and let's talk about George Washington. George Washington, here's a picture of him. You can see him right there. This is a picture of the Washington Monument in Washington, DC. Our capital was actually named after George Washington, the first president. He's also on our quarter and our $1 bill. He's on our money. There are presidents on our money, okay? We're gonna talk about George Washington for a minute. Do you like to explore? Do you like to be outdoors? So did George Washington. Many years ago, George Washington grew up on a farm. There he learned to love the outdoors and work hard. He was always honest. When America decided to fight for freedom from England, 
the people asked George Washington to lead their army. So what happened is when people came over from Europe, we learned about Europe on the map, to the United States of America, they were still under the king in Europe's rule. They had to do what the king said. They had to pay money to the king and they didn't wanna do this anymore. They wanted to start their own leadership in their own country. And so George Washington was a general in the army and he was gonna help them fight to be free of the king. He had a very hard job to do. The winters were long and cold and the small army did not have enough food or warm clothing, but George didn't quit. Instead, he prayed and asked God to help him. He believed it was very important to lead the people to freedom. After the war was over, the time came to pick a leader for the brand new nation. Who would they choose? The people knew that George Washington was brave and honest, so they chose him to be the first president of the United States of America. And they call him the father of our country because he was the first leader and he did such a good job leading. While he did not always like being away from his home in Mount Vernon, he knew that he had an important job to do to serve his country. Then another president we have is President Abraham Lincoln. And here's a statue of him. This is in this building. See that back there? That's this statue, the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, this is also in Washington, DC. And it says, in this temple, as in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. Abraham Lincoln was also on the $5 bill, and he's on our penny that we've been learning about. He also grew up in a log cabin as a child. So here is his log cabin, okay? Many years ago, a very tall, skinny boy named Abe Lincoln lived in a log cabin on a farm. His parents were very poor. He had to work really hard on the farm and he often wasn't even able to go to school because he had to work instead, but he learned to work hard and he learned to be honest. People knew that when Abe promised something, he was gonna do it. Just like George Washington, he was an honest man. He loved to read. Do any of you love to read? Abraham Lincoln was a reader, but many people around his home owned books. Not many people owned books. So he often walked a long way to the library to borrow books. Have you ever been to a library to get books? When we come back to school, we have a library that we can check out books from. Abraham Lincoln grew to be a tall, strong man. He was smart too, but he was also humble. He didn't think he was better than other people and he was willing to listen to them. People learned to trust him and made him president. Now, during Lincoln's presidency, the Civil War started. It was a very hard time for our country. We were fighting amongst ourselves, the North against the South part of the United States. And Abraham Lincoln helped do something very, very important. This is why Abraham Lincoln is my favorite president of the United States of America. We've been learning about Black History Month and we have been learning that people that had black skin, African-Americans were treated very badly by other people, especially those with white skin. A long time ago when Abraham Lincoln was president and when George Washington was president, people were forced to be slaves. African-Americans, people with black skin were forced to be slaves. A slave is someone who is forced to work really hard, long hours and not get paid. And you had to just do whatever the people told you to and they would get beat, they would get yelled at, they would get hurt. They didn't have nice houses to live in. They didn't have nice things or nice clothes, okay? They were not treated with respect or kindness or love and they were forced to be slaves. Well, Abraham Lincoln said that is wrong. He said that no one, 
should be a slave, that slavery was not okay. And so Abraham Lincoln worked and fought to free the slaves. And he did. He freed the slaves. And he did that. And that is such an amazing thing in our country. That was a turning point in our country. That is when we really started to treat African Americans like the people that they are. And that's when we learned that we shouldn't treat someone based on what their skin color is. We should treat them based on their hearts and their character and how they act and treat others. So Abraham Lincoln is really special to me because he had a big part in ending slavery. All right, I have one more video I wanna show you that goes through all the presidents of the United States from George Washington all the way to Donald Trump. But now we have President Biden to add to the end of that list. Joe Biden is our president as of this year in 2021. So let's watch that video and then take some time on the website to look through some of the videos this week and work on your assignments, okay? All right, this is gonna tell us all the presidents of the United States of America. Are you ready? Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren, William Harrison, John Tyler, James Polk, Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield, Chester Arthur, Robert Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison. Robert Cleveland again, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Taft, Woodrow Wilson, Warren Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Aaron Truman, Bright Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George H. Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, these are the And now President Joe Biden at the end of that list. Happy birthday, George Washington. We are so happy that it is your birthday and that we get to celebrate President's Day. I hope you enjoyed this lesson with me and I will see you all soon. Have a great time doing your assignments and watching and learning more about the presidents of the United States.